What's up guys, gt 4 Guru here, and I'm going to get my God of War 1 Platinum. Uh, just going to show you where I'm at now. Uh, God of War trophies, I'm currently at 91%, 34 out of 36. Uh, I've got one trophy left to get. Um, show you the last trophy I need is Speed of Jason McDonald, which is to beat the game in under 5 hours on a difficulty. So basically like a speed run. Um, I suggest you do this after you uh, have already beaten the game once, collecting all the Gorgonites and Phoenix Feathers or, and whatnot. Uh, if you can get that and beat the game under 5 hours, you are a beast, so uh, well done to you. Uh, I've had to do two playthroughs, so my first playthrough was getting all of the trophies pretty much, uh, and all the Gorgonized Phoenix Feathers, which takes some like, looking around and that, so I couldn't really run through it, because um, I, I was trying to look for like the the secret shit obviously to get the trophies so my second playthrough i started it this morning um and i'm currently i think it took me like three hours or something to beat the game so way under five hours which i'm pretty proud of um but i haven't actually beat it yet so basically i'm going to do the final boss fight now um so if you don't want the end of the game spoiled for you uh don't watch this video but you should have played this game by now it's been out for ages i mean if you didn't play it on ps2 which i didn't actually do uh, I only got God of War, I rented God of War Collection like last week, and I'm currently playing through this game. Can't wait to get onto God of War 2, loads of people say it's like amazing. So, uh, and I thought God of War 1's um, fucking amazing as well, so I absolutely love this game. So, uh, yeah, let's go get this platinum. So, I'll show you where I'm at now. My first playthrough, here you go, I'm right at the end of the game, 6 hours and 42 minutes. So, I guess that's just a normal playthrough, how long it would take. That's me collecting, like, all the shit that's needed uh, for all of the trophies and that. And this is my speedrun playthrough, which is 3 hours and 18 seconds currently. So I'm, I'm on the final battle already in only 3 hours, which I'm pretty proud about. I uh, basically just steamed through it uh, as the Dairy Bastard costume. Yeah, I'm not being rude for the sake of it. Uh, he, the costume is actually called Dairy Bastard, uh, which is a cow costume. And I think that's a pretty funny name, Dairy Bastard. This is pretty low, actually. I quite like that name. Uh, you basically get a cow outfit and he has unlimited magic. So basically any magic moves I get, I just spam them because I've got unlimited magic anyway. So here you go, this is the cow outfit, dairy bastard. I know it's quite epic, isn't it? Um, so basically his attacks are actually really weak, but his magic is really powerful. So see my magic in the top left there. Uh, mainly just basically spam this move on all enemies and it pretty much wipes them out really quickly. And that's a really good way of getting through the game really quick. So here I'm on the final battle and I've got like two hours to do it. So it's only going to take me, what, like 15 minutes? Um, so yeah, let's go straight into this. Hopefully I can fit this into a 15 minute video. Unfortunately the cutscenes aren't in the cow costume, which is sad. I wish it was. It would be much more epic and a lot funnier as well. So yeah, the final boss is Ares. Uh, I'm not going to explain the whole fucking story to you. Um, if you don't know it already, go look it up. Or if you've been in the game, whatever, fine, cool. Uh, yeah, got to beat the shit out of Ares now. Can't skip the cutscenes, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna shut up and let you watch it. Kratos. I really like his voice. It's really evil and epic. I am not a broken mortal. No, he throws a fucking lightning bolt, motherfucker. Didn't see that one coming, and uh, kind of fucked him up then. S somehow he just gets to Pandora's box and opens it before Ares can do anything. I don't really know how he does that, but I don't know. I guess Kratos now has the power of teleportation or some shit. I don't know. So then he goes giant, but he's still not as big as Ares. Uh, Ares goes even bigger than Kratos at this point. Goes all beast mode, and you're like, oh shit, but then you beat the shit out of him anyway. So that's all good. Uh, final boss battle is actually really piss easy. Um, but that's because there's no trophies to beat it on harder difficulties, so I'm only playing on easy mode. So it's pretty much a walk in the park and just fuck him up really quick. Ooh, I'm scared. Not really. And then some big fat metal shit comes out of his back and he just thinks he's all beast. And I thought he was going to be like a giant spider or some shit first time, but it's just like some kind of pointless blades in his back or something. So yeah, I'm a giant cow, woo! Look how beastly I am. So I'm just gonna spam the magic now and uh, fuck him up this way. So let me use the uh, army of Hades as well. 
and this basically just wrecks him to shit. I can beat him in absolutely no time with this trick. This is basically how I've been getting through the game because most fights you can actually avoid, which I didn't think you could avoid that many, but you can pretty much avoid like 80% of, of all the uh, fights in this game. So you can pretty much just run past them until there's points where you have to beat the enemies before you can get past. So you can pretty much just run through this game in like no time at all. So I've got to concentrate for the quick time events here. This is where you have to tap circle really fucking fast and I don't like this part. So let me get the power to uh, spam circle to my heart's content. Come on you fucking idiot. Die. Okay. Spam circle fucking... Come on. Yes. Triangle. Square. And beast. Beastified. And now it goes on to the next phase. Which, uh, you've got to protect your family and it's just boring as shit, but oh well. Hopefully with my unlimited magic I'll get through it quicker. So he pulls you into something. Tries to uh, break down your kind of morale by making you protect your family who you, you actually killed yourself. Um, so yeah. See, the whole thing about this is it just makes Kratos seem like such a dick, which most people probably don't realise, is that the thing is, he traded his life, he gave his life to Ares so that he could win some stupid uh, battle with some fucking uh, Vikings or whatever they're called, I don't know, they're called, uh, I can't remember the name, but bar Barbarians, I think that's it. And uh, you get fucked up and you're about to die and you're like, uh, save me Ares and I'll give you my life and what whatnot. So you do that. So basically, he's given his life to a god in exchange for him to stay alive and for his enemies to be defeated, which is already quite selfish, because um, he's lost anyway, so if, if you lose, you just let yourself die. But he gives his life to Ares, Ares saves him, then Ares sends him on a quest to beat up some village, and then you end up killing your wife and child, which I don't know how you're such a spastic that you don't see them and just kill them, so it's kind of retarded. And then when he kills them, he's like, right, now I've killed my own family, I'm going to go kill Ares, because he made... He did it, for some reason he thinks that Ares like, caused it, when really Ares just said go like destroy this village. Like He didn't say you're going to have to kill your wife and child, Like he didn't force him. So to be honest it's his own fault, so he, then he just thinks he's going to go kill Ares. I mean, it's all like like fucking badass and what whatnot, and it's like oh I'm so cool. But, and I guess it gives him the more brutal side, but to be honest it's kind of pointless if you think about it. And it just makes him more of a dick because... I mean, if you're going to give your life to a god, you're going to have to make sacrifices, you know what I mean? And, I mean, it's kind of cool that he tries to kill him, but I think you've killed your own family, so that's your own that's your own problem, you know what I mean? It's not Ari's fault that you killed your own wife and daughter and didn't see, oh, that's my wife and daughter before chopping their heads off or whatever. So, pretty retarded. See, I have a shitload of experience, but I don't need to upgrade anything, so I've got all the trophies for upgrading everything anyway. So this is all pointless, just gotta keep killing these guys, this is really boring this section, I find this like really just dull and just boring. Even without like spamming the magic button like on the first playthrough I actually have to do this. I just found it really frustrating and just boring, I think it's kind of pointless, I'd rather actually fight a boss than just do this pointless shit. And if Kratos had any brains he'd know that these his family are just visions and he doesn't actually need to protect them because they're actually already dead. Uh, so Kratos is a bit of a fool. He's just a fico who's like good at fighting, to be honest. I mean, I'm slagging off this this whole prospect really badly, but the games are fucking awesome. So don't get me wrong, I love the game so much. I just think Kratos is a bit of a dick, to be honest. <laughs> so I've got a thousand one hundred hit combo. Yeah, because I'm a beast, and I think it's over. So I did that really quickly. So I'm just rambling on about the whole kind of story here and my thoughts on it. Do you see? See, he's like, you'll never have them again, but they're already dead. I don't know how he thinks they're just suddenly alive. I mean, I guess this could piss him off. I mean, he's this is a bit where he kills Ares actually physically kills the vision of his family with like and doesn't let him protect them. I guess so. In in a way, that would piss you off because that's not your doing; that's his doing. But the thing is, you he's killed his own family in the first place. So and then you get stripped of your blades. It's like, oh shit, what's gonna happen now? And he uses your own blades to kill you, uh, family again. And you're like, oh shit, back to square one. And then he gets even more pissed, and he's like, oh my god, I'm gonna kill Ares, man. I'm gonna rip his legs off. 
I actually don't know why I'm rambling so much. I've got some energy somewhere. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm like really energetic for some reason. Um, I don't know, some of you will probably mute this video just or fast forward it. Because I'm just rambling on here. So yeah, you pick that big sword up and you're like, oh my god, I'm so badass. It's quite a cool moment. You're like, yeah. Because you run along that sword to like halfway through the game. You think, oh, well, that's quite a cool like monument. And then you actually pick it up at the end. So, so this is where I don't have my magic or anything. So I have to just actually use the sword I've been given. So, And this is really easy. I mean, this boss battle is just so easy. I mean, on god mode, it's probably fucking kill yourself hard. But, oh, button mash, Jesus Christ. Oh man, I'm so bad at button mashing. Oh come on, that's ridiculous. That was some Mortal Kombat fatality there. Come on, come here you bitch. Oh wow. Oh. See, I did a lot better on my first run through. And if he beats me, uh, I'll be very embarrassed. And it looks like he is actually going to beat me. Oh man, I'm not doing too well. Block. Okay, I can't block. I pressed block there but did nothing. Oh shit, what's he doing? Quite scared. Oh Jesus, okay. I think I've pretty much lost. Yes. 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 Okay, I thought I was going to lose there and I kind of leveled it out. Oh, uh, maybe not. See, this on my first run through took me like like 30 seconds to do and I've just really fucked it up this time. Jesus. Does my block actually do anything? That's the only move I've been able to block. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm just going to let him kill me and try again. Yep, kill me. Okay. You are dead, whatever. Suck my penis. Okay, let's try to do a bit better this time. Oh, come on! Yes! Come on. Fuck you up. Ah, oh, I thought I dodged it there. Come on, come on. Oh, this is the last button mash we're getting. Fuck! Yes! Oh man, I hate button mashing so much. Yes! Fuck you, bitch. Platinum. Remember, Kratos. It was I who saved you in your time of greatest... So I guess the trophy doesn't pop here. Because there's another little bit we have to sit on the throne or some shit. So this cutscene's really long. I think this is going to be a two-parter. to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. So yeah, we killed Ares. Woo! Woohoo! So this was a really long video. Uh, the Platinum's actually going to be t in two parts. Because I'm going to do a trophy rundown on what I thought about the trophies and that. So first part is beating the boss and whatnot. Second part is getting the Platinum and telling.